What's up guys, Evil D here, and today I'm going to the academy for the interview that I spoke about in previous videos. As you can see, I've got a helmet here and my bike here, because I actually intend to ride there, it's not near a train station. And it's about 40 minutes by riding from here. I'm not sure how this is going to go, because I haven't ridden a bike in years, so let's see. And here's the bike I'm going to use now. This bike is actually in pretty good condition, because my father-in-law rides a bike all the time, so... He's got two of them, and he's lended me this one. Okay, I'm really looking forward to this because I seriously haven't done any riding in years. The only thing is it's peak hour traffic out there at the moment, so I'll probably get killed, but eh. So this is where I'm going. As you can see, it's 41 minutes or 12 kilometers. I've got to go right past the airport, down to the University of Sydney, and then off to the side near the, um, the main river here, or whatever you want to call that, the harbor. Hi guys, you're probably wondering, where is all that high octane bike riding I promised? I just jumped on my bike. Things were about to really ramp up. In fact, I actually rode about five kilometers. I had the wind blowing through my hair. I was going full belt, friggin' loved it, and then this happened. I shit you not. I got about five kilometers and then suddenly the pedal came off and of course naturally I came off the bike. I flew across, landed on some grass, survived the impact, got up, had a look at the pedal. As you can see I've shoved some paper in here because I tried to repair it but I looked inside it because I was like shit I couldn't have just snapped that off myself. And that baby has been grinded down for a fucking long time. So I swear to God, my father-in-law is intentionally trying to kill me. He must have known this was going to happen. And that is where I'm going. Oh wait, no, no. That's where I'm going. And when I say going, I mean going for my interview because there's actually no guarantee I'll even get in. This is really random. The game design school itself is actually part of the Greyhound racing facility here. Okay, so I've just put on a new shirt and now I'm just doing up my hair because I smell like crap before and I've given myself like a quick little hand bath. So I'm back at the train station now. The interview went quite well. I literally sat down in a room with a couple of programmers. They looked over some of the code I've written in the past. They looked at uh, Amikumu and what I've done with that. And they pretty much said straight up, yeah, you've definitely got a spot in this course if you want it. So I'm really happy about that. Now I just need to financially make it happen. So I'm going to have to put together <laughs> several different sources of uh, financing in order to get into this course, like actually pay for it. So I showed you the, um, the pedal before how it was like kind of snapped off type of thing. I just want to show you the actual bike itself. So look at this, look at this bad boy. It's just like clean come off. Now it looks like it should be screwed in there, but if I come over here, where is it? I think this is it, yeah, this is it. Right here. You See that in there? It looks like it's completely worn out. I am pretty sure that this has happened over a very long time and it's actually come off several times before because when when it was sitting on here like when it came off the first time i picked it up and there was like all these metal shards in there it looked like someone had like layered the inside with metal or like you know kind of just created like a wrapping to kind of tighten it up so when it was stuck on there you know it's nice and tight but after like seriously using it like i did it then just kind of came loose and went wee and when that happened i went wee <laughs> off the front of the handlebars thank god there was grass there because I just kind of crashed into the grass. Now the good part is I'm getting a train to Rockdale which is like my home train station and from there it's literally just a downhill path to my actual apartment building so I'm just going to sit on this bad boy and just roll it down the hill until I get to the actual apartment. So I'm back in the house now and it's time to get back to work on Amikumu. So as you can see on the screen right now these are screenshots of what Amikumu currently looks like and will look like. So basically, this is how we're envisioning the finished product. Well, not finished, it'll never truly be finished. But where, where we want to go with it, okay? So we've got the new sign-in process that's already out on Android and iOS. That all came out this month. Obviously, there's the um, flow, which is over here. Oh, sorry, no, that's the um, nearby list. And the flow is over here. So you see this on the flow, we've got like a like, a comment, a share. Those features are coming out over the next few months so the commenting will come out first and we'll bring out others um, so when you comment on something if you look at this um, one over here let me just scroll across you can actually well where'd it go okay you can actually see how the commenting system is going to work and you'll see how there's like a little sound file there in the future in the flow you'll be able to send not just text but also sound because we want you to practice languages yeah so with the gold membership in the future, you'll be able to actually display your tutor rate. So if you teach a language, you'll be able to display that for every language that you actually teach. So this is what the um, nearby list is going to look like in the future. So you'll have just here along the top, 
uh, the actual languages so you can look at multiple languages at once and you've got speakers there if you click on speakers you have a uh, choice between teachers and speakers so you can look for either or the teleporter for gold members is changing location obviously we're spicing up the nearby list a bit more um, so when you click on the teleporter you'll have something like travel home or virtually go somewhere else that that text is probably going to change and obviously it's not going to have an x in there for esperanto um, and that's what's going to happen when you click on teachers or um, speakers i don't know why it says language partners we're still working on that and you'll be able to select you know what price ranges you're looking at um, and this is the basically the profile this person's a tutor so they can show their um, rates here and their different languages and just skip past that, that's not important. But here, so if you're a gold member, you'll be able to mark yourself as you know, a teacher or a tutor. You can become a tutor. Um, and that will only be for gold members. So basically the difference between a normal member and gold member is that gold member is designed for people who want to either virtually teleport around the world and talk with people in different locations, um, or they want to mark themselves as a teacher. Now, you can't currently buy gold membership and the teacher features aren't actually out yet. But if you guys are interested in just like supporting Amikumu a little bit, um, you can actually buy the gold membership already through a PayPal link, which is in the description below. You don't have to, it's up to you guys. But this is basically what I'm looking forward to. You know, the fully decked out flow. This is going to be awesome when it's ready. So this here is someone sharing someone else's post. So that's it. If you've enjoyed this film, like it, share it around, sub to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next video. And if you're not there, I will sabotage your bike.